Shut up and sit down. Hello again, gang. Right. What are we going to be doing today? Bit more work on the dio, I reckon. Now, it's changed a bit since you last see it. So I'll just get me a bag of gravel out and then I'll uh, have a yatter with you as to what I've been up to with it. Because I've been playing with some bits and pieces since we last was together. Uh, I need to really tidy up my bench sometime. Right. That's a pot of gravel. Uh, and let's get me mud out. an initial coat of this stuff, okay, which is AK Terrain's Muddy Ground, okay, it's very dark, mud, okay, so we had a coat of that, then we've done a few puddles using AK Puddles, okay, puddles. So that's what that's had, and then I've gone over it with some raw umber, some burnt umber, and some different colours, just to try to give the mud a little bit of texture. Okay. Uh, glued me little balsa wood floor down. Uh, so today, I'm going to be going over with some PVA. So that I can drop some gravel in, okay? So I'm just literally giving it a squeeze in a few of the deeper places just to get some in there.
come back at it with a brush. And the brush will brush all of this into the crevasses. And the rest of it will just come straight off. will get darkened down once it's had a clear coat. Okay, so we've got some soldiers and stuff to put in as well. Uh, there you go, told you. If in doubt, Captain Elbows will knock everything flying. Takes one thing for it to start, and then uh, yeah, you got it. Everything goes flying. Let's just move this out of the way, and then we'll get back to a little bit of normality. Right. So we've got some men to put down in a moment as well. Bit of ground to have a look at as well. So let's have a look at a bit of dark brown wash. And I use this over over my mud. Got it. 
doesn't get put everywhere, it just gets put in a few random places. position me tank as well. Which will be quite key. So he's probably gonna come across just here. gives you an idea of what's going to be happening with that. Uh, a side of 
things and we just keep going basically give everything a wash with this stuff I'll do this one soldiers and what I do is you'll notice they come on this plastic toy soldier stand that I always put them on. I actually cut them right back so I'm left with just the actual figurine and then I've got a little tiny glue surface that I can stick to the model and then I can build up a little bit of ground around the soldier to give him a little bit of extra dimension. few of them to put on. So they're done with a bit of CA glue. Got a little German guy there with his hill. So he's going to come right over. starting to build up your, your little scenes he's going to live and come and be coming across the plank board like so so that can go on Okay. Uh, that's 
that's all you end up doing is you're just building and building where you're putting your soldiers and I'll just be gluing them randomly in different areas just to give a bit of character to what I'm doing Turn and everyone's fighting over this little trench. So they're not sure what they're going to be doing at the end of the day. Okay, so I want this guy probably, I'm going to put him in the, uh, how can I say, the other area that I set aside. So, so it's just a matter of figuring out where I can put them. So I'm going to pause, get on with the rest of the wash and get that out of the way so that I can then figure out where I'm going to put the rest of my crew. go round and, and plot them in and then I'll bring it up on the screen and show you what I've been up to, okay? But that's kind of the stage we're at. Get all the men on, get everything in place and then go round with the final weathering, a few shrubs, a few this, make me sandbags and get them done. So yeah, get everything sorted. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Hello again, gang. Right. <clears throat> what have we been up to? Well, we stuck the soldiers on, as we was on about, and weathered the bolts with a bit of um, MIG <sighs> brown, and brown wash for green vehicles, and done that. And I've also been around and dropped my balsa base on, which is just some strips of balsa trimmed around the edges just to build up a little tiny frame. Okay, so today all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a little bit of texture along the edges there uh, just to give that a little bit of a finish um, a few little uh, bits and bobs just to touch up here and there and that's all the new the muddy side of things all done so I'm just plodding around little blokes the Germans go around all these little bits that I've had filler and, and things added just to take away the uh, white of the uh, corking should we say so that's all, all that's happening along the here modeling worlds out there doing your thing cheering everyone up because that's what it's about
a little bit easy on the sides. Just uh, create a bit of infill. That's what we're doing. Getting it in there. Then I'll go along with a, a straight edge. I'll just let that all compact at the edges of the frame. Transition between dio and fine. Get a bit of styrene along there. Let's start. Dragon. Like so. Some interest in that bit. Like so. to a level that I'm at here with. <clears throat> like so. cobbler's thumb, so to speak. A bit of mud in there. A little bit in there. And I've got my sandbags to make as well, don't forget. So.
just clean my brush. Dust it with <sighs> let's just give that a little scrape off there, don't want that on there, do we? Decided yet what colour paint they frame. Might do it in a nice brown, to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm. Mind you, all my other frames are black, so. That'll be all right. So that's that decided. So I'll 
brush paint the rest of that this evening uh, off camera because all I'm doing is brush paint out of frame so you don't you don't need to see all of that that's all I'm doing is exactly what I've done just there with the rest of the frame so that just leaves a bit of sandbag to make so I'll go and get myself a bit of water and then we'll come back and we'll make a few sandbags to give you an idea what they're gonna go like. So I'm gonna pause and then we'll come back and make some sandbags. Okay. Add them again, peeps. So I made some sandbags. Now I tend to use my old mate. So I tend to use my mate Millie Pup. Okay. So let's just come away from there for a minute. Drop you up the way. And I just wet the Millie Pup like that to start the ball rolling. Same with that one. Apply them together and just start mixing them up. Now I'm just going to make random little sandbags for this going along the top edges of the trench. So I'm going to do them in stages, make a few, see how many I need, that sort of thing, you know. So I'm not going to go mad with it. Uh, but we'll see how, how we start looking as they come out and get made and I, you'll normally just make a long sausage of milly pup and uh, go from there with it really see how many I'll make how they're coming out and uh, go from there uh, I don't want to go mad with them but it does need some probably have a little stash of them somewhere in the trench Dio leaning up against the wall or something but we'll see I've got loads of milli part and it depends on how my mind takes me to be quite honest with you but you know like I say I'll make a few on camera and then the rest of them I should just do off, off shot because uh, the process is the same you just mix up a bit of this form your sandbags and uh, let it dry and do your thing you know so that's all I'm going to be doing with this so let's just give that a, a move out of the way and start start rolling this out
this stage a good day for them coming because they're going to get a bit of paint on them and you know you can faff around with the edges and just make them a bit more sandbaggy. But they just sort of slap that one on there and turn that one upside down. Give him a little bit more manipulation. So, and that's pretty much all you're doing, really. Just give them a little tweak at the ends. Right. Slap them on the side there. Like that. Cheers, Ted. Good sport, he is. It's only when you see something like, like this coming again that you look at old footage and you just think all that loss of life that happened in the two major worlds you look back and you think, wow, when people died and you know, millions of people probably drive past the areas where these uh, trenches were and probably don't even give it a second thought as they're driving along in their own little world and yet millions and millions of fellas died fighting over dirt basically, and you just think what was achieved by it all, just dumbfound me to be quite honest with you. So yeah, it's, it just gets the old mind going, doesn't it? That's kind of what's going to be going on around these little uh, trenches. Uh, little German friends here with their sandbags. They're trying to shoot from behind. 
just let some more as time goes on but for the moment that's kind of enough for the camera anyway you know, the rest of them I can sit and do of an evening off camera to be honest with you because you don't need to see all of that so there you go that's a bit of sandbag and a bit of this and a bit of that they'll all dry and then I'll come along with a bit of khaki paint and paint on the nose up once the party's dry but it just gives me an area of detail that I can just faff around with until my art's content, you know. That's just the first layer of bags that are at the bottom of the pile, so by the time all the others are on, I can give them a bit more texture. Yeah. So that's that. So we're going to pause and uh, clean myself up, and then uh, next time we'll have all the bags on. We can make a bit of barbed wire, the frame will be painted, and uh, we can start just going around then and doing the, the last details. So I'll see you then. Goodbye for now.